Good morning. Is there something I can do for you? Yes. I'm Mrs. Daniel Danfield, and this is my husband. I want to enter him in your hospital. Really? What seems to be the trouble? Well, ever since Mr. Danfield was discharged from the service, he's uh, had a complete lack of interest in everything. Really? The way he's looking at me, I wouldn't say he was troubled with a lack of interest. I beg your pardon. Dan, are you... Of course not. The young lady is jumping to conclusions. So are you, brother, if you think you're pulling a fast one. Oh? That's what do you mean by that? I mean, you're no more sick than I am. Now, scram. I'm busy. I resent that. My husband needs mental stimulation. Take him home. Tell him a bedtime story. All that guy needs is a course on how to put on an act and get away with it. Rusty, I think we're wasting our time talking to this young lady. The chances are she couldn't even take a pulse. Come on, let's go find that old penciler. You can't go in there. That's the professor's private office. We can read, nurse. This sign is printed in English. Come on, Mrs. D. Let's go. What's the meaning of this? Are you Adolf Hensler? Yes. Did the nurse explain that I'm never to be interrupted? Come out of there, you two. Uh, Miss Derwood, will you kindly tell me who these people are? No, no, let me. My name is Danfield, and this is my wife. I'm a sick man, Professor Hensler. He's no more sick than I am. I can see he isn't. Now, Just a minute. I ought to know whether I'm sick or not.